How you doing guys? Welcome back to volume 2 of uh, Hive Swap. Um, I forgot the title. I was it? What was the title? Friendsim? Yeah, it was Friendsim. Yeah, sorry. Um, it was such a different, unique name. We're today going to speak with our friendo here, Chirava Hermod. Yes, a potential new friend approaches, as they almost look as messed up as you are. <laughs> it's like... Perfect. <laughs> oh, look, I messed up, dude. <clears throat> Whoa, what the fuck? Le Mao? Le Mao? You an alien? Uh, yes? You nod enthusiastically. You show hope your prospective new friend is comfortably with extraterrestrial things. Could get pretty awkward otherwise. Hmm, you should really like not be outside, Le Mao. Uh, freaks like you will get picked up by drones in a hot second. No offense, Le Mao. You don't like the sound of being picked off by drones that will really inhibit your companionship plans. <laughs> you hastily explain to this strange why not troll that you crash landed on this planet and in desperate search of friendship. Your plight seems to move them. To, to move them? Well shit, if you really don't have anywhere to be. I promised myself I wouldn't do anything cool risky. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> But what the hell, Lamao? <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> okay, Lamao. Name Sirava, by the way. You follow Sirava down a twisting stretch of road. Wow, this is going great already. I bet you'll have a new friend in no time. Hopefully, uh, it will... they will not kill us. Alright, here's my hive. You can hide out here for now. I got a lot of followers who are pretty into aliens. Into? Is that a low fee reference? <laughs> Do uh, you see it on the on the screen? A loafy, loafy girl reference. They might get a kick out of this lemao. You look around, see up highs and all. The show seems to have a batshit crazy taste in home decor. Uh, if you say so. Che checking out my aesthetic. Yes, I work really hard putting this place together. It's all about the look in the BJ when you're streaming lemao. BJ? In the bag, you mean? Um, I don't know what BJ means. No one my fans think I live in a fucking dump and spend most of my day depressed and crying them out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You like Moisture Royal Wave? I don't know what it is. Is that a cream? What the fuck is the most through it? Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> what the f okay, I'm quite confident if I say that, uh, they will kick me out. Seriously? If you don't even know what's rare I like, can't really see why you would want to be friends with me, Lamal. Yeah, I knew it. Because, to be honest, I don't even know how to explain it to you. You just have to like it. Get it. See if I consider you for a long moment? Actually, yeah. This isn't gonna work out. Get out of my hive. <laughs> That's it. That's it, guys. I knew it. I knew it. You have no idea what the hell is a moisture wave? Uh, moisture? Moist? It's but you don't want to offend your new friend. You tell her that you love it. Word. <laughs> Word. I'm actually streaming some chill beats as we speak. Check it. <laughs> oh, yeah, lovely. <laughs> copyright strike. Like, <laughs> I felt the copyright strike in my apple. <laughs> Je uh, the J jester to where there strangely bulbous sailing computer on screen is grab tube channel lofi aesthetic incubated beats well they sure have a lot of subscribers you ask them if they drew that very nice anime girl they are using as a splash art no i just rip it off of some eastern alternian movie and recall it to look like me uh <laughs> okay fucking nail it lamar you know, vigorously, this is very impressive. Yeah, I'm kind of a big fucking deal online. I build out my own streaming empire. Works my ass off, you know? There's these beats to hell from tragically ill sample loops. It's not all fun and games, though. The life of a popular online guy. You can't even imagine the hardship I've gone through. Holding the name of Lovey Chill, chill Hop, Aesthetic, Moisture Wave Beats. That shit keeps me up at night. Uh, Chirava looks into the middle distance, pensively her own eye filled with poignant emotion. 
you never knew the life of a streamer could be so vaguely filled with atonement, you're moved to cry a single tear. Yeah, you get it. I get it. Do we get it, guys? Streamer life. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's kind of it's interesting, I guess. Uh, I have, I ha like, um, I would say it's like, uh, I don't know, I would like to try it for a bit. Maybe one day, I don't know. But I, to be honest, I don't really have to one to time, one to schedule, uh, treat an organization, I guess. You're really vibing on my emotional frequency, my dude. You know how you gotta suffer for popularity. <sighs> do I? Do I have to? I mean, do I? Do I have to? <clears throat> you know, the enthusiastically, you don't think you've ever been particularly popular, but you're very good at suffering. This is going to be great! <laughs> Sick! I wish I could say more. Really get all emotionally vulnerable and share my tragic backstory. But ever since the incident, <laughs> the incident, <laughs> did you get scratched by your cat or Dilusus? <laughs> Dilusus? It's been so hard to trust new people. Lamau. You feel me? Um. <laughs> As a normal human being, I will. <laughs> Ask why incident? <laughs> a little bit of context as usual, but uh, we, we're just gonna pull up. <laughs> the incident, this is so tantalizing, you just know that if you want to make a new friend, you're going to have to get them to confess their deepest insecurity and embarrassing secrets to you. That is how friendship works. <laughs> you place a sympathetic hand over Sirava's shoulders. Mm, you know what, dude? You really wanna be friends? Mm, yes, yes, yes. I can't believe you, how pain-free and uneasy the experience has been. What a wonderful new friend you're about to make. You can practically feel the future bro embraces you two will surely share. They'll feel good. They feel right. <laughs> we're sure uh, eager. Um, yes, we are. <laughs> Too eager. But like, if we're ever gonna be friends, we have to go to work on lo your look. What's wrong with it? <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> Your aesthetic is basically hot garbage right now, Lamau. My followers can't see my hanging out with a fucking rando like this. I'm sure you understand. You aren't quite sure you follow. What's wrong with your look? You always thought you had a simplistic charm, a face you could put on a logo. You're not sure if you are ready to change up the, tri <laughs> the tried and true classics of this newfangled team. But you are so thirsty of a Sirava sweet friendship, nectar. You need to taste it. You have to taste it. With a friend like them, you could really go to places. You could be someone. No. <laughs> I don't know, it sounded wrong. <laughs> you could finally be down with the hip youth of today. You tell Shirava you're willing to try anything to get into the esteemed ranks of their friend list. Well, damn. Damn, damn, you're thirsty. You're maybe too desperate to my point of view. If I was on Sirava's shoes, I'll dab a give a, uh, give a, could give a, got some sort of uh, uh, idea. Follow me. Sirava leads you to the winding stairs of their hive. Lining the walls are pictures of Sirava in strange pos poses. Pose. In several different locations, they are surrounded by a few trolls you don't recognize in a similar silly fashion. Fellow members of the Moisture Wave community? <sighs> I really gotta take that shit down. They're all dead to me, Lamau. They're actually dead? You want to ask if they mean that literally or not? You never know with trolls. Do keep your mouth shut, best not to offend your new friend. Let's just move on and never speak of this again. Okay. Sierra leads you into a fairly large loft bedroom. This room is a bit less ostentatious than the streaming, uh, than the streaming uh, area downstairs. Uh, well, here are uh, we are, Lamau. Welcome to my respite block. We're gonna get your look up, Lamau. If you're gonna be my new friend, you gotta look to the part. So streams and stuff, you know. We all have to make you a ch 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 cheater account. Cheater? Is that a Twitter account too? No, I'm never gonna make it. <laughs> Not now, at least. <laughs> it is good for my image to have friends, Lamau. The picking have been pretty slim ever since. The incident. <laughs> the incident. What the hell happened? 
That is so. I, I figure out this kind of probably something stupid. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably something stupid. On that ominous note, Sirava presses a button on the wall, and a large door opens, to reveal an expensive walking closet filled with colorful accessories and clothes. Looks like a regular batshit mean shit pokolo po shit pokolo po pokolipes. Uh, are we in the bar cave? <laughs> Neon bar cave. Well, have at it. Unless you want me to help you pick up a look, Lamau. I wish you could pick it up for me. Pick your own look. Let's see if I help you with your look. Let's see, Rava. You admit you have no idea how to dress yourself. You could really use some expert advice from Dean. Oh shit! Could they make over sequence, bitch? <laughs> Let's cue it! <laughs> Gonna make you look aesthetic as fuck, Lamau. You stand in the center of Strava closet for a good hour as they go back and forth between various fashion lampers. Man, this troll is really indecisive. You think you're gonna go blind for all the neon here? <laughs> like, beat me out the lies. Hmm, okay, I'm done. That was surprisingly hard. You have a hard dress body, Lamau. Just in general, you're kinda fucked up looking, to be honest. Okay, you have a so fucked up looking man, I'm like, oh, okay, you chill though, cause you now look fly as well, a shell. You look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> I look like him. <laughs> it's literally the same clothing he's fucking wearing. That's it? You can't iconic iconic <laughs> I don't know uh, okay whatever I'm just gonna ignore it <laughs> now we just gotta get out uh, get out and get get you set up on the social medias my dude but first selfie time the mouth we take a variety of cool selfies with Sirava well this is really going well is it and I I'd, I'll just post this and prove you You'll be the internet fibs in no time. Then we can finally be friends. Lamau. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do I have to do this in order to be <laughs> friends with uh, the big leagues? <laughs> That's what it's all about, baby. That's what you've been working toward this entire time. See how our friendship is so close you can smell it. This smells pretty dank. It seems like people are really into you. Into me? Check it out. It's true. The likes and uh, comments. As a creation, <laughs> I'm rolling in. <laughs> huh? <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> Such a weird experience. <laughs> really? <laughs> you think it happens? <laughs> At this rate, you'll be more popular than me. You're sure to see that it, it is, will definitely never happen. Hell, you treat this Irish French, not fans. That's what they all say. All my so called friends. <laughs> they were only in because I was popular. No one ever gives a shit about me as a person, Lamau. I'm just a funny meme to them. <laughs> just a guy that can copy. You know, high blots are always stealing my work. <laughs> my look, my music. I'm a real influencer, but these violent blots out there taking my shit and getting twice the followers and tons of money. And I'm stuck here in this shitty high with no friends because they all turn on me. But it's cool. I chill. Don't I chill with it, Lamau. Oh, you don't seem like you're really chill with that, Sirava. <laughs> Something shifts in Sirava expression as they get a good look at you. You tense up, your new friend sure is acting weird. Ning! Sirava checks the notification on their phone. What the hell did you do? Uh, what? I didn't do anything. You think you can just steal my look and get away? <laughs> you dress me up like that. <laughs> Oh, my followers think you are the new big thing because oh, you look like me. <laughs> they wanna know what the hell is going on when your new friend streams. What are their signs? Are you kidding me? You haven't even done anything. You are... You're just like the old rest. No, no, you don't want to be like old the rest. You just want to be friends. It's too late for that now. You made me look like a fucking idiot. Now there's only one thing to do. You're gonna kill me. Really? Really? You're gonna stab me. Okay, of course. I really didn't want it to come to this, but you left me with no choice. I'm writing a call. <laughs> I mean, I can't live without it, I guess. A call out post. No. 
<laughs> Cinema ties furiously on their devices. You can all stand to look. This is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Now no one will be your friend ever again. You will be forced to live on the outskirts of societies. A para pa pa paria? But it's a paria, guys. Paria? You can even begin to imagine the things that Seraphon must be writing about you. You must have fucked up so many things in your life to lead to this point. Okay. <laughs> There's only one thing to do. You stagger now as there's past all the poetries of Sirava ex friends. You wonder if they met the same horrible fate as you. Their grinding, grinding, their greening faces taunt you with slivers of friendship that could never be. You burst out the front door of Sirava's hive and make your way to the conveniently placed stump. You sit on it, complete despair. There's no point in leaving anymore. With trembling hands, you reach inside. What? <laughs> Did I off myself? Really? Why? That's uh, so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, they fucking cool out of me. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh... Guys, guys, guys. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna end the episode right now, right here. <laughs> See you again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sheesh. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to choosing our own look. I guess it is what it is. And we here uh, totally don't off ourselves. <clears throat> you let Sirava know you are perfectly comfortable picking out your own look. You think you can figure out this fashion business easily enough? What could possibly go wrong? This is a child play. Yeah man, man. Fashion is just all about like what you are feeling, what I'm feeling, and also what trending, but you know. We're the ones that starts the trends. You strike me as a real influencer, Lemao. Thank you. Go for it, my dude. I even though I would like to avoid to be like one. You enter the close close attentively as soon as Sirava is out of sight. Your stupid ego deflates like a farting balloon. You don't know. Uh, the first thing about the hip youth, youth alien fashion of today. This is going to be an absolute shit show. You reckon you are awfully, uh, awfully? You are fully prepared to make another fool of yourself. Well, might as well get started. You pick a few accessories off the shelves at random. A uh, bright pink hat, sure, why not? You tilt it jauntily on the side. Uh, you're pretty sure that's cool. Sunglasses. Definitely that's not a brain no brainy, no brainer. No cool guy will be caught dead without a sweet pair of shades. You select the most ostentatious pair available. You think you're getting the hang of this monster wave aesthetic, you just have to look like the biggest tool possible. Several accessory later. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> wow, neato. <laughs> neato. Oh my fucking! <laughs> oh my fuck! This shit is transcend! Wow, you got me speechless. Just damn, look at you. You're like you're a whole new guy. A much chiller and cooler guy who I know now gotta be friends with right now immediately. <laughs> now all we got to do is debut. You to my hundreds and thousands of followers, Lemao. It's gonna be fucking great. Let's take some selfie. Your heart is sorry. You did it! You really did it! You are down with the kids, and now Sirava wants to take the coveted selfies with you. This night shouldn't... shouldn't? Couldn't be going any better. You may look like a complete asshole, but if it can win your popularity with a bunch of alien teenagers, then an asshole you will be. <laughs> Selling out is amazing and lovely. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? And over here, we're gonna take some fa fees? Fees? You pose with Sirala for several selfies, they put their arm around you in a gesture of newly formed friendship. You are beaming with friend pride. Oh hell yeah. These are turning out great. Damn, 
We're killing it. Now all we gotta do is post them. She never fiddles around with her phone for a while. You're so nervous. You've never been to internet famous before. You hope a new fame won't change you too much. Or maybe you do hope it will change you. Change you into someone with a ton of friends. Your likes are, uh, are rolling in. Oh yeah. I live for this shit. <laughs> this one guy is asking if you want any of all or any of your quanders filled. And this girl loves your shades. And a lot of people are asking if you're single, Lamau. Don't go for it though. My followers are fucking freaks, dude. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you aren't quite sure that feeling of a quadrant is sound like some kind of fucked up alien ritual, but is if anything like friendship, you are all for it. Welcome to my twisted internet fame. Lamau, again. Let's chill out and listen to some beats. You vape and uh, what do you have? <laughs> you get a pretty juicy rig downstairs. Before you know it, you are sitting on Sirava's couch watching them finagle with a horrifying elaborate vape rig that appears to be made of some sort of living larvae. Oh god. You don't know you don't wanna know. Sirava places their mouth on what surely must be a bug. Anus, any nailless deeply, that you can make an awful high pitched rattling noise. You think you are going to vomit. Fucking hell. Oh man, that's the good shit. <laughs> Here you go, dude. You take the trembling thing in your hands. Well, here it goes. You finally had a Twitter of friendship and popularity. You vape vigorously, inhaling as much as you can. The vapor fills your lungs immediately. It burns a lot. You suddenly realize that you're not quite sure if this alien vape juice is compatible with your anatomy. You could have just inhaled a bag as full of poison like a fucking idiot. What a way to die. Your vision swims. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Just hold it in. Lemao. Tears streams down your face as you're holding your double lungful of insect gas. You sure are glad you have all your pair of cool shades. You could have never be able to live with this parents bent down. You are not sure how long you're supposed to do this, as long as it takes, I guess. Um, you can exhale now. Oh, you cough as putters green vapor spewing from your mouth straight into the Sirava face. You did it! You lived! <laughs> ah, man, that was sick. Sheesh, Jesus fucking... What am I seeing? I'm seeing colors. Your head feels like and woozy, and you wink. <laughs> Okay, uh, you wiggle hard, uh, the two of you kick back and relax on the couch, you stay at the ceiling. Wow, I need a huge wasp when I get here. <laughs> Crazy man. Sierra Man music is suddenly sounds a lot more interesting. Look <laughs> up, guys. Okay, dude, today we have been way cheater than I ever expected, Lamal. You are officially my best friend for life. Just promise you you'll never betray me, Lamal. Oh, there's an horse too. Horsey. You promise this is, uh, this is incredible, you love your new friend. You watch as they effortlessly take another huge rip from their vape rape rape rip. I've been burning to the past, Lamar. Lamar. But you have to add everything you said with Lamar. It's not easy being popular online, especially as a low blood. I used to be such a fucking big shot. Could excessify with high bloods on Chita. <laughs> Always had some shit to say, Lamar. Then shit got out of control. I'm a psionic. I am a psionic, so bitches started reporting me as a way more powerful than I really I am. The Mao. They took me all in slave and shit so I couldn't keep up with my streams. <laughs> so this jealousy, you know? My stupid ass friends all turned on me so they wouldn't be targeted next, the Mao. So I took matters to my own hands. Gouge out my fucking eye? Oh, okay, that seemed a bit extreme. Why? It was sick as fuck. It was sick as fuck. Can can uh, can use me as a battery, bitch. W -w what? Still got a big following, but I don't really talk online anymore. Lemao. But I do stay under the radar and not piss people off. Just be chill. If I if I don't get close to my followers, they can try to use me. Cause that just means I no longer have any good uh, friends, Lemao. That's rough. Well, until you. Okay. You're truly moved what a special bond you have for with your new friend to have them open to your about the darkest secrets. Okay, first thing first, why you gouge, gouge your eye? What was something related with your psionic power? What, what, what? Okay, I guess I'm not gonna question it. 
alien logic. This is the most significant and transcendent moment that you have ever experienced. The two of you share a beautiful and tender bro embrace, the likes of which will never be replicated in this known universe again, for all time, forever. Probably. You don't really know you're high as fuck right now. Uh, hi high time? Yeah, high time. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't know. Give me a bit of PTSD. I was like, fucking pie. <laughs> but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just fucking eat the pie. <laughs> Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy. Uh, and I hope you uh, have a high time. And uh, <laughs> how much you took, actually? Ah, not much. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna just assemble everything together or I'm just gonna divide them up. You will see. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy and hope you see you again very, very soon. Tomorrow, maybe, or the next year, the next month. <laughs> Good, lovely bye.